topic is 10 ways to succeed in a new job. I found this quote, to live is not to learn but to apply. And I think in order to succeed in a new job, you need to apply these 10 techniques. Number one, maintain a positive attitude. You don't want your boss to see you as someone who hates their job. They'll think that you'll never support the company. You want to encourage others to be more positive. You will be more productive and it demonstrates enthusiasm. Number two, maintain a professional image. This does not only include good grooming, but it also includes speaking, dressing, and acting positively. It is a reflection of the quality of work you do and it enhances how you feel in return giving you confidence. Number three, demonstrate maturity and respect. You can demonstrate maturity by being self-reliant and self-disciplined. You should act like a leader, be an example for others, and avoid politics and gossip. This is to help you avoid conflict, which shows maturity. Demonstrate respect by respecting your organization. Your employee will expect you to support the organization. At work, you can show your support by serving your employer's needs and interests. And outside of work, you can show your support by only speaking well of the company, the personnel, and the services the company gives. And respect others' ideas. Number four, learn about your organization. Know what should and shouldn't be shared of the companies and guard the company's information. Know your internal customers. Thirst for knowledge, never stop learning. If your company, um, if your employer offers you a leadership development class, for example, you should take it. Broaden your skills. Everything is always changing, including the requirements of your job. So you can take, um, you can attend seminars and take classes and be in conferences and stuff to broaden your skills. Number five, develop good work habits. These habits include showing up for work every day, developing good time management skills, don't procrastinate, keep your work area neat. Control email and paper. Be consistent and reliable. Know your priorities. Outline your task by putting the most important at the top of the list. Set goals professionally and personally. And if you don't know where you're going, then how do you know when you get there? And focus. Number six, do your part. If you can go the extra mile, do it. Have the willingness to work extremely hard. Early on, you probably don't have the skills and experience that most people have that have been working there for a while, but if you show that you're willing to work hard, some people will overlook the lack of experience and skills that you have. Do not fall behind. You want Do not fall into the background. You want to stand out. Do what's asked first, then if you can, you can start your own projects. If you see something that needs done, do it. Don't wait to be told. Number seven, develop good relationships. That includes with your supervisors. You can develop a good relationship with them by seeing your job as helping your supervisor get things done instead of being told to do something. You may need to go to your supervisor to ask about how to complete a task or help finishing a project or something, so you want to have that relationship to them, with them so you can go to them. Develop a good relationship with your coworkers. This ensures that tasks are done efficiently and it helps everyone keep a good attitude. Developing good relationships is based on trust and respect in order to get that trust and respect and build those relationships. It goes off of actions and performance.
Number eight, be a good communicator. Have good eye contact, vary your vocabulary, um, tailor your language to suit your audience, speak clearly, be nice and friendly, be yourself, be patient, and be thorough. Number nine, be a good listener. Develop good active listening skills. Understand, interpret, and evaluate what you hear. Give your feedback of what you hear and focus on what the person is saying. Show res it shows respect when you're a good listener. It shows that you care what the other person is saying and it limits misunderstandings. Number 10, ask for feedback and criticism. This shows that you want to seek improvement. Ask questions. You're not expected to know everything on the first day of the job. Ask for information you need to do the job. Find a mentor if you can. They will help you. You can ask them questions like what are some things that you have overcome and how have you overcome them, like the task each day at the job, what are the most difficult, and things like that. You can help others when you can. You can always go up to someone and say, hey, I might, you might have to tell me what I need to do, but is there anything I can do to help? And that concludes my presentation on 10 ways to succeed in a new job. Thank you.